We're artists. For instance, let me challenge you with a little piece I did. Now you know that in ancient times, all kings had at their courts a court fool. And sometimes it probably was true that the fool was a crazy person. But actually, as time went on, the function of the fool became more sophisticated than that. And he became a person whose function was not simply to make jokes and to be a funny man, but to remind the monarch of his humanity. See, that was in a way the function of the fool. He was reminding you of your finitude, of your mortality, and death at the end, in somewhat the same way as monks used to keep on the desks in their cells a grinning skull. In the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his watch. And there the antic sits, the antic being the court fool. And there the antic sits, scoffing at his state and grinning at his pomp, allowing him a little time to monarchize, be feared and kill with looks. And then at the last comes death, and with a little pin, bores through his castle wall. And farewell, king. Now then, I try to think whether there is in any institution in modern society that really corresponds to the court fool. There is, of course, the political cartoonist, there is the satirist, there is the commentator, but he doesn't sit uh, in the president's office. And the president can ignore him altogether if he so chooses. We don't like, nowadays, anyone to suggest that our social institutions are not altogether serious. We can't stand it because we're much too insecure. And this is a very dangerous state of affairs. Because, you see, our society cannot stand non-participation. It cannot stand really fundamental criticism. And so it's in a very, very weak state. <laughs> but when you're not sure you're right, you have to uh, stifle criticism completely. And what, the worst kind of criticism is the person who pokes fun. And that is extremely demoralizing. And so it really is high time that in many ways the institution of the fool was reintroduced. <laughs> the world's first fully functioning artist. What do you want? My face on the one dollar bill.